Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to turn on ray tracing in Fortnite. But before we get started, you need to make sure you have a ray tracing compatible graphics card. If you do, then you now need to make sure you have the latest update installed for Windows 10, which is currently the May 2020 update. Once you have that installed, you then need to install the latest NVIDIA driver as well, which is currently the version 455 driver. Once you've ticked all the boxes for that, you can go ahead and boot up Fortnite. Once you're on Fortnite, you now need to click on the three lines in the top right hand corner and you then need to click on settings. We now need to scroll down and under advanced settings, you need to turn on DirectX version 12, otherwise you won't be able to enable ray tracing. As you can see, ray tracing is currently greyed out and it does actually say on the right hand side, you need to have DirectX 12 on. I'm going to go ahead and turn DirectX 12 on and press confirm and confirm again. As you can see, I can now change the setting for the ray tracing and turn it on. Once you have turned ray tracing on, you do have a few other options. We can turn on the ray tracing for shadows, reflections, ambient and global. Once you have changed the settings that you want to set, go ahead and press apply again and you then need to restart Fortnite. I'm going to go ahead now and restart Fortnite and then we're going to take a little look in game just to see how awesome the ray tracing actually looks. And there you go. I have now got ray tracing enabled, but unfortunately I could only get the game to run in medium graphics. So it won't look as good as some of you that are running it in ultra, but I must admit it still looks pretty epic. So that is it for this video. I hope this video really did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe. For more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.